got something a little different for you today guys um actually wasn't going to make this video because i wasn't going to string the guitar up until after i'd wired the internal components together but i put the body and the box together the other night glued the nut in place and i just couldn't resist getting some strings on there and hearing how it sounded so that's what i wanted to show you guys today so after 18 months i finally want to present the acoustic cigar box guitar um like i said i haven't done the wiring yet um so it's going to be really simple actually uh jack socket pickups and the two pots the potentiometers and other than that i don't know if you can see but the action of the strings at this end of the neck it's way way out compared to the action of the nut which is the correct height so what that means for the guitar is the intonation is out so as an example if i use my finger to fret the 12th fret of the high d that should be the same note as the open string but an octave higher but you can hear actually a little bit sharp so this is because the string's got to travel that little bit extra to before it contacts the fret wire and um, if I just lower the height of this bridge that should take care of that so I just need to cut some deeper grooves in there and then sand the top off so the strings sit on top uh, rather than in the bridge um, and that should be it. The only other thing then is I'm going to have to measure, I think it's 631 mil, uh, but I could be wrong. I'm going to have to measure the distance from the leading edge of the nut to the leading edge of the bridge and make sure it's the correct scale length. Um, otherwise, the intonation is not going to matter because uh, with the incorrect scale length, it's going to be out of tune anyway. So. What I'm going to do is make that measurement and then just put a line on the box um, because I don't know if you can tell but the resonator dish and the bridge are actually floating. So what that means is they're not screwed in, they're not glued in place, um, but the tension of the strings is what holds it there. So each time I restring it I might lose the uh, position of the leading edge of the bridge. So what I'm going to do just leave a mark on the box and then any time it needs to be restrung um, I just line it up make sure it stays in position while I tighten the strings and that should take care of it so yeah that's it a bit of wiring a bit of sanding a bit of sawing and it'll be done 18 months finally um, so you probably want to hear how it sounds given what I've just said I'm not gonna play a fingered song um, Probably the best thing I can do is use bottleneck slide. Because the slide replaces the need for the frets. Um, you're not relying on the fret to produce the right note. Um, you just play it a little bit flatter than you would. So here it is. Try it with the brass slide. So you can see, even as low down as the the fourth and fifth frets, they're just not um, they're just not staying in tune, even when. The, note, the strings are in tune, or should be in tune, uh, going by the pitch played there. Um, but because of the height of the bridge, it's just it's not doing it. So you can hear how it's going to sound. It's not in tune, but um, you can hear how the resonator dish is pumping that sound out. But of course, 
is going to be an electric guitar. So the main thing is going to be this sort of almost etheric noise. Anyway, that's it. Um, I just wanted to show you how it sounds, give you another quick update, and I'll be back with more as soon as I can get myself some spare time to record the videos. So uh, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.